Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. This presentation comes in two sections, simplified and detailed. If you have experience with the Clarity Graphic Pack for use within Breath of the Wild, then let's jump right into a complete comparison between all the presets available today put up against the vanilla game visuals in a quad screen image showing daytime, nighttime, sand and snow. It should be noted that presets do occasionally change and receive updates. Vanilla will be indicated by a V and presets will use numbers 1 to 8. The use of graphic packs within Simu allows us to improve and change the gaming experience in a multitude of ways not found on consoles using our own custom settings, whether it be a higher resolution or color enhancement as well as bug fixing. These packs can be used in many Simu titles but the game which has seen more created than any other is Breath of the Wild. The color pack of choice for many users is Clarity made by Jamie and it has recently undergone a few changes making your palette selection easier than ever. In the past, it would use separate files for presets you like, but now they have all been compiled into a single file where all you need to do is select a number. Let me show you how we do that, then give you a closer look of how these presets affect your visual experience. The first step is to make sure you regularly check and update your graphic packs. All relevant links will be provided down below. Open your graphic packs folder and find Breath of the Wild Clarity. Open the long numbered file. Where it is written define preset followed by a number, simply change that value to the one you personally prefer and click save. That's all you need to do. Make sure Clarity is selected in options and graphic packs before loading the game. The image comparisons all use the same time of day, weather conditions and character placements by loading the same save file. These details can be observed in the bottom right corner of the HUD to provide as close to identical visuals as possible. Daytime, sand and snow were all captured between 12 and 1pm whereas nighttime was set to around 1am. Some users prefer vanilla colours stating that it preserves the artistic vision of Nintendo and provides a natural look to Hyrule. My personal belief is that whilst balanced the default colours are a little flat and washed out. 
The light haze which I see has been described as a method of hiding flaws and popping due to a lack of detail and image crispness. Vanilla does however strike a competent and let me say difficult balance between the different times of day which is much harder to achieve than you think. It is clear and bright. Preset 0 is basically vanilla and is there for customized user values to be added as desired. Preset 1 by Bruz has become quite popular due to its sensible use of saturation providing users that color pop many desire. With this particular setting I would argue it's a bit too bright in daylight with the greatest success actually being nighttime. Now of course with any of these color presets they are always subject to change. Preset 2 is BSODs and as far as I know is currently a work in progress. The available settings as of this content do show quite a blown out and blinding desert and snow canvas. Nighttime does come across quite well however. Preset 3 is the default value clarity comes with designed by Jamie. This colour palette makes a good use of contrast which really lends itself well to increasing environmental details and depth. Saturation is not overbearing and the sun does not bleach sand or snow. Nighttime is dark and moody as it should be in my opinion. I'd consider the default preset quite successful and well balanced across all times of day and weather. Preset 4 is similar to contrasty but ultimately too bright for my tastes. Preset 5 by Surfrost is an interesting one. It appears to have a filmic type of colour grading which adds a layer across the image. I would argue it works well at night. In the desert and the frozen mountains however, the saturation during midday in Hyrule Field is for me very much overbearing but alternatively very suitable for the colour enthusiast. Details are present and natural in certain areas. Preset 6 is a sharpened image only with vanilla colours. The concept of maintaining a vanilla canvas with extra sharpening should appeal to the purist. Artistic integrity is respected with an added level of crispness which is always appreciated. Sun, sand and snow all stay just about on the side of visually safe. Preset 7 is my personal The Complaining Game setting. I believe that its greatest success is capturing the nature of night. One might consider it too dark but it truly is a fantastic nighttime experience. It does fall short during the day however leading to a somewhat dull image even in the bright midday sun. The same effect on the other hand benefits in both sand and snow settings where visibility is clear and details present. Naturally and with some bias I like the balance of saturation and contrast with what is to me a perfect nighttime. Preset 8 named Filmic definitely requires a specific taste. It is clearly heavily graded with a very specific look. I'll leave this one to your interpretation. I should note that this clarity presentation was taken from a graphic pack version 650 and was also supported by a resolution in game of 1440. As witnessed, it's incredibly difficult to strike that perfect balance from a single preset. The extremes of weather and environment present a considerable challenge for graphic pack creators. Here's my theoretical preference for each time of day and location. For daytime, I've gone with vanilla, which to my own surprise just seemed the most suitable even given my own reservations. Nighttime, the TCG preset, Sand goes to Jamie and Snow goes to Bruz. Let me know in the comment section below your personal preference. There you go people, the complaining gamers presentation of the Clarity Graphic Pack for Breath of the Wild for use within Simu. If you liked the video and found it useful, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. And as always, if you're interested in the content I create, maybe consider subscribing. Thank you and I will see you in the next video.